This is a love log. And I'm John Hears. Riley, field worker for FTF is here. He's on Skype. Georgia is our guest director today. She's my kid. Georgia, welcome to Love Log. Why are you smiling? I want to thank you for tuning in. I'm the director of First Things Foundation and I'm thankful to be on this camera with you today. Riley, have you ever had passion for something? Is that something yeah. you've had? It's weird talking to you here and also on Skype. Do you sometimes associate that passion with, say, a lady friend? <laughs> yes, it can be. I think that's normal. I've done that. I'm now married for 21 years, very thankfully married. And But it's passion gets associated. But I want to look at the word as we want to do on this vlog. And I want to investigate what we're actually doing in today's society because I think it's fascinating. Passio. Passion. The Latin tells us that passio is the intense endurance of suffering with self-control. If you look at that word and you're like me, a teacher, what we often ask for from our students is passion. Well, we shouldn't because it's not often that we're asking for an intense suffering, right, done with self-control. And if we are asking for that, that, that ain't happening. Because I don't know many students where they intensely suffer over math with self-control. Maybe they <laughs> suffer, but mostly they want to get out of it. I guess what I'm trying to say is, is this word passio, intense suffering with self-control, I think is being confused with the word desire. I think desire is related closely to happiness. So I desire chocolate. Georgia, I desire that you keep your music down and then I get happy. I don't often desire an intense suffering, right, with self-control. That is a, something separate, that's something different. And uh, be honest, after being married for 20 years, it feels like passion is directly related to marriage. Don't, don't hate. Because when I am at my best, right, and I, I speak to my brother, he says the same thing. I speak to Phil, he says the same thing. These are married friends of mine. They're often suffering. Yeah, sorry, I hate to tell you. And the wives will report the same thing, suffering. And the suffering is for the good. And the good is the marriage, whatever that is, right? And oftentimes when I'm suffering in marriage is when I'm becoming the best person I can be. Now, intense suffering, right? Done with self-control. If I don't have a love of something bigger than me, then I don't want that suffering. And so what does it got to do with love? I think what we're talking about when we talk about passio is we're talking about something bigger than ourselves done by ourselves for a greater good. Riley, I don't know that these things are happening and associated with love today. Are you doing anything, Riley, right now that involves intense suffering for the greater good? It's possible that what you're talking about is maybe not Passio. I think of Michael Jordan, there's Passio, right? And all those practices, LeBron, these characters. I think of monks up on a mountain. What are they doing after all? Why are they denying themselves of all these immediate desires? There's starting a business. I mean, people who start a business don't have another job. They quit their job and they suffer. There's no doubt about that. So I think in the end, we have to watch out in modern society. We don't confuse suffering and desire. And what happens, I think, in society is, is people want an immediate payoff that looks like happiness, when in reality, it's gone. Like, the happiness is fleeting. And when it's gone somewhere, right, we go after more of it. And the more of it that we go after, the more that we think we need. Right? Like, look at my PlayStation right now, it's beeping. It's driving me nuts. And I think it's broken. I guess what this vlog is about is there's a relationship between suffering and love that's really important. And I would investigate it, and I would find that when you are willing to suffer for something that you believe is good, that you're probably on the right track. Now, here's the trick. 
Those dudes who blow themselves up, those guys who shoot up things because they're sick and tired of stuff, I think they're not at, they're in passion. That's definitely passion. But I think it's not passion for the good. Now you're gonna get into all kinds of relativism. What is good? That's another vlog. But think hard about the relationship between what you do, right, and how you suffer. And maybe suffering's right on the money. Maybe. I'm John. Riley's over there, but he's kind of over here with Skype. Georgia, thank you for directing today. Gina's putting it all together. First Things Foundation is trying to do something in the world where we hope we endure a little bit for the greater good. Check us out. Check out my PlayStation, which is beeping. That's uncool, but I'm not cutting it because I shot this already. Peace, love, and see you next time on The Love Law.